So it's 5.21 uh, and a catch-up service here. The last caller on AuraQuest Friday was a little bit rushed, as it often is. Went like this. Final call is Michelle. Hello. Hello, Simon. Michelle, you have 20 seconds. Hello there, yes, Michelle's friend. 20 seconds. Go, tell me everything. Hi, I'm myself, my husband and my beautiful children are on our way to Butlins to see WWE wrestling this weekend. So that's what they do. It's basically all we had time for um, from Michelle. Very happy family going to see some WWE World Wrestling Entertainment. So as we didn't get much time then, we're making some time here. He's one of its biggest fans, and he gets paid to write about it as well. It's Martin Hines. Hello, Martin. Hello. Tell us about... So is this instead of WWF? Is this replaced WWF? Is now WWE, is that right? Yeah, they were sued by the Wildlife Fund about 15 years ago, so now they're officially WWE. OK, so what happens? Because you could hear in that call that Michelle and her family were thrilled and very excited on Friday night to be heading to go and watch it. What happens when you get there? What do you see? You see a mix of everything that's great in the world. You see athleticism, you see storytelling, you see just everything that makes entertainment so great. It's a spectacle and it's unlike anything else really that's, that's around. So is it, is it sport or is it theatre? Is it pantomime or is it all of it? Well, they call it sports entertainment and, and kind of, you know, it's predetermined, the results are predetermined, but the, the entertainment everything is, is kind of off the cuff and it's kind of exhilarating. So when you say the results predetermined, how do you mean? So that when, when, there's a, when there's a wrestling contest, it's already been decided who's going to win? Yeah, the results are all predetermined, you know, it's all arranged beforehand and, and the guys in the ring know who's going to win and know who's going to lose. So it's, up, it's their job then to kind of make it as entertaining as possible for everyone. So who are the big characters, uh, Martin? Who do we go and see? Who's, uh, who's box office? Well, the kids' favourite is John Cena. Uh, it's very interesting, like, what children like is not, is not what adults like, but it's the kids who buy the tickets and who buy the merchandise. So John Cena, he's the number one guy. He's a big, muscular guy, and he's their big hero. John who? John Cena, C-E-N-A. C-E-M-A. And where's he from? He's from Boston, Massachusetts, I believe. It's a big American. All the Americans are the popular guys, really. And anybody who's not American, they're the bad guys. So... D- depending on how old people are, it will depend on what image comes to their mind when we talk about wrestling. Well, absolutely, because British wrestling in the 70s and 80s was massive, big daddy, giant haystack, and then the Americans came, and they were all bodybuilders, they were all very charismatic, and that kind of killed British wrestling, really. Uh, so there wasn't... So, it, what, because it was more entertaining, more showbiz, more sparkly? Well, yeah, there was less grannies in bingo halls, and it was more kind of huge arenas all over the world, and it made British wrestling look a little bit... A little bit sad in comparison. So can so can British wrestling compete now, or is it still dominated by the Americans? Well, it's really interesting you said that, because last night in Glasgow, I think 4,000 people turned up for a show by a British company. So British wrestling, there's a renaissance, and WWE is very popular over here. So wrestling in general in this country, I think, is booming. Who was, it, who was the wrestler who slapped Wayne Rooney? That was a guy called Wade Barry. He's from Preston. He's been calling Wayne Rooney out for months and months. And on Raw last week, uh, Wayne Rooney had enough. And in storyline, he, uh, he slapped uh, Wade all over the, all over the oh, arena. he slapped him back. OK. But in general, it's, it's all good, clean fun. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it didn't used to be. I mean, sometimes wrestling can be catered more towards adults, but the product at the moment is very family-friendly. And as a family, well, you heard on the show, they were very excited because they knew they were going to get something that was unlike anything else. And where can, where can we go and see uh, the next bit of bout of WWE, Martin? Well, I believe they'll be over here again in April. They do all the big arenas, Euro 2, to Manchester arenas in Birmingham and stuff like that. So pretty much any big arena next year they'll be. And do you have a favourite? Uh, no, I like everyone equally because that's the way the world should be. Uh, Martin, thank you for giving us the load down there on WWE. Michelle, very, very excited on Friday. We didn't have time to fill in all the blanks and Martin's done that for us. Martin, thank you very much indeed.